Hey, this is your boy K R D P. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about is the PS3 worth keeping in 2019. The answer is yes. Here's why. So, to get things started, we have the games. The games are so amazing, so awesome that as a result of these awesome, incredible, amazing games, I have a whopping total of 36 PS3 games. That to this day are sitting next to me, you know, on a rack holding all 36 games. Some of them are exclusive made for PS3. And as a result, these games cannot be played on the next gen systems or PC games at all, you know. And it's, it's amazing to me that there are so many people out there who, you know, who just go, Oh my god, PS4, I guess no core cool systems. Yay, I gotta have it. Oh my god, I gotta have this, you know. They go out and buy the PS4, and then they realize what they lost when they threw the PS3 away, you know. They realize what they lost with the PS3 games. That they lost so many great, exclusive, amazing, awesome titles that they are attached to and just couldn't let go. You know, and Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 is a perfect example, okay? Matter of fact, and um, the end of June, start of July, the very first game I ever touched, I swear to Christ, the first game I ever touched was Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. That was the first game I ever touched and I ever brought home. I walked in the front door with was Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, because that game was so awesome, so fun, so epic, so fun, and just downright enjoyable. Matter of fact, how ironic, I say that because he's Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, gameplay. And uh, it's so fun, you know, because it, it's just a fun, you know, it's a fun game, because it's one of, the, one of those games where it gives you that experience to play how you like it, okay? If you want to kick back, relax, by God, you can do so. You can kick back, relax, have some very good laughs with your friends, you know, and just laugh together. Or, if you want, you can be a god forsaken asshole, and there you go, you know? I mean, there's so many things about Call of Duty that is a loving proof of this. There's heavy rain, there's, you know, Aquapaz, I mean, God, this title goes on and on and on forever, you know. These games just go on and on and on forever because there's so many exclusive awesome ones out there. And so, um, you know, next point I have is Blu-ray, okay. The PS3 is a Blu-ray player. And for those of you out there that don't know this, believe it or not, the PS3 was the first game system to ever have and be, will be released with Blu-ray player capability. Okay. And, I mean, Blu-ray versus DVD, okay. Xbox has DVD capability. Meaning, that only the Xbox can play DVDs. Whereas the PS3 can play Blu-rays. Meaning, um, the Blu-ray player as a PS3 can hold more memory on a disc. It can hold more memory, more content, more media, more material on one disc opposed to its opponent, the DVD. Which is why we have PS3 games made in Blu-ray quality. And you can own Blu-rays, okay? I swear to Christ right now, as I'm watching this, I have every letter of the alphabet, from A through Z, sitting right next to me in my Blu-ray collection. And it has taken me, approximately, to this day, five years, five straight full consecutive years, to fulfill all my Blu-rays that I have, uh, you know. And if it wasn't for the PS3, I would have never owned all these Blu-rays, 
No, I have tat tattoo, um, big with Tom Hanks. That is home. That is home too. My cousin Vinny, tag, identity thief, identity thief, blue crush, blue crush too, smoking the bandit, chasing Maverick's wave, no, thing, abduction, the camera hat. The National Lampoon's Vacation. You know, a dog's purpose. Little man. Click. Death the Halls. You know, the spy next door. Duck and Jill. Grown ups. Grown ups too. White along. You know, Project Almanac. Spy with my Wilson McCarthy. Zookeeper. Up. X Men. Power Heist. Skyscraper with Dwayne the Rock Johnson. The peanut movie, you know, just a couple, just to name a few, you know, and I have a lot of Blu-rays, you know, and it's all because the PS3 gives you a Blu-ray player and there's exclusive games, and then another thing is free online service, okay, the free online service, because let me tell you guys something, in the last Five years I've owned my PS3. Not one day, not a day goes by that I don't pay money for online service. Not a day goes by I don't pay money. And so, just recently I calculated some math and did the math, and I realized that in the last five years that I've owned a PS3, I have saved a whopping total of drum roll, please, the price of one PlayStation 4. Mm-hmm. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. You heard me right. The price of one PlayStation 4, all because the PS3 gave me free online service for life. Okay? I kid you not. <clears throat> Don't believe me? Let me, know in the, let me know in the comments down below. What is 6 times 50 if you so much don't believe me? Because the answer is $299.94. That's how much money I have saved with the PS3 because PS3 gives you free online service, okay? It gives you free online service. I don't pay money for online service. Matter of fact, ever since 2014, I not once played my Xbox 360, which is downstairs in my, you know, downstairs. But um, I've never touched the 360 ever. Never. Not once. And I mean, you know, it's just, it's incredible to me that all these people these days, you know, players these days, kind of forget about this, you know, they forget the free online service, that they have free online service, and they don't have to pay money, okay, and what makes me have a good laugh is that there are so many players out there who buy the PS4 and for God knows what reason. Pay fifty dollars per year to have a twelve month subscription, and really, all they're doing is making Sony money. Because for those that don't know this, Sony lost so much money with the PS3 free online service that they decided that what they would do is they would give the PS4. Um, PS Plus. Therefore, they would use the PS4 subscription to earn money that was lost with the PS3. And so, you know, PS3 has free online service, Blu-ray, and their amazing games. I mean, what more can you ask for than that? Okay, I couldn't. Okay, I couldn't be any more happy because let's face it, the difference between PS3 and Xbox is that on Xbox, God knows what reason, you have to pay money for every freaking godforsaken thing you can think of on the Xbox. PS3, the system pays for itself, okay? The PS3 is free. Like, it pays for itself, okay? Yes, you still gotta pay money for the PS3, but the system, when I say it's free, I'm talking con free content, okay? Free online service. 
a free online service, free wallpapers, free DLC, God, freaking free everything you can think of in your life. Everything, everything from DLC to the wallpapers are all free. So in conclusion, yes, the PS3 is worth it. I recommend that y'all go and buy one. And I'm out. Take care. Stay safe. It's your boy, KRDP, and I'm out. You're awesome.